So George Calambaris, who's one of the master chef judges here in Australia, said to me that if I wanted to go and find out how to make the best coffee in Melbourne, I needed to come here to St Ali and ask for Matt. And this is Matt. That's me. And he's going to show me how to make a great coffee. Yes, and, I am. And uh, you are the best man for the job, being a world champion barista. Yes, yes. So what do right. we need to do? So um, obviously you have to start off with good quality coffee itself. You can't. Uh, just make great coffee with bad beans. So we spend a lot of effort traveling to different countries around the world to find coffee that's fresh, in season, tasting its best. We bring that back to Australia as quick as possible after harvest. Uh, we roast it um, sometimes on site here, sometimes off site at our other roastery. And uh, we have to roast it in a particular way. So to begin with, this is called a porter filter okay. or a handle. Mm -hmm. Just need to make sure that the old coffee gets out of it. You'll notice it's very hot. Yep, hot water. so we're adding hot water to the coffee. We don't want to have this big chunk of metal soaking up all that energy from the water, so it needs to be hot, clean and dry. Then we need to grind our coffee. You'll notice in this grinder that there isn't one of those big chambers where the coffee's sitting in for an hour and then we sort of like clack, 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 bring it out. So that's called grinding on demand, so the coffee's just come out of the grinder. It's fresh, it's ready to roll. Right. And then we need to make sure that it's distributed in the basket. So now when we're tamping, we're going to compress all that coffee down, make sure there's no gaps, no air holes, and that we're going to give the water every chance possible to extract every bit of coffee as evenly as possible. Much more technical than I thought it was. Put the handle in. So this is going to create a seal between that basket and a rubber gasket in the machine. So that's ready to be pressurized. Okay. And now when I press the button, hot water is going to come flowing down at just below nine bars of pressure and pass through the coffee and give us some delicious espresso. Okay. But we do need to worry about the milk. Yeah. That's the next most important People thing. People burn the milk, don't they, sometimes? A lot of things can happen with milk, just yeah. like with the coffee. So we're going to be stretching this milk. We're going to be heating it up. We're going to be bringing it up to about 60 degrees Celsius. And we're also going to be adding a lot of air. So we're going to be whipping it and heating it at the same time. So okay. that's obviously what the steam arm's for. So this is going to be pretty quick. It's a very quick process. Every barista's got a slightly different technique on that one, but uh, really you just want to mix the milk around. And then you want it to be really glossy, almost like you're looking at a tin of paint. But what I'm going to do is just pour to make sure that the crema comes to the top of the cup. Then you can do all kinds of pretty this little patterns. This is the, I mean, but making the coffee is very clever, but this is also very clever. So that's, you know, put a little pretty pattern on top, make it nice and symmetrical, nice and beautiful and the customers will enjoy it. Look at that. That is a perfect cup of coffee. <laughs> Thank you.